Hi everyone, this is Subako from Kinosu, and even though I intend to be a tutorial maker, I'm still not a very skilled one. I mean, in terms of speaking and performing at the same time, even in Portuguese. So I'll just perform, and you can read some info in the text panel by the left portion of the screen. Uh, there's some stuff on my page on Facebook. Uh, unfortunately, most stuff are still in bad Portuguese. And I mean by bad Portuguese is that you can't simply Google it to understand what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, but that's not for long. Um, also, my Facebook channel. Here you can see the facial motion capture that I will mention. Uh, thanks for watching. And I'll start by the... Well, let's see. This is what I was talking about. Cool. Sorry about that. I'll add a default cube and I'll add on the top of it a subsurface modifier but then I'll leave it in so you can understand that Sorry for the, if this is a quite bad tutorial, it's not actually a tutorial, it's much more... This is a tricky part. You shouldn't select just the loop of the mouth, but the loop that comprises the, the first part of the nose and the mouth. So later, our smile lines will fit right up above the nostril and not under it like it's a common mistake. Now you can extrude, uh, in, sorry, inset the mouth and pay attention to this I'm going to do inside the mouth which is connect those, actually merge them I like to do this with the mouth and later we will do the same thing with the um, eyelids Now, to make the Mm. Let's do the chin first. How do you say that part on the lips? That is. That is. Well. The eyebrow and this part I can name. Then I'll just do this. Smallest loops deletion, deletion, del okay, and then this is a cool detail that will give some. Ah, I didn't explain you why we are doing this. It's because. We're generating, we're aiming at some topology above the subsurface modifier. Or under it. Uh, well, these cheeks. Insert the loop. Uh, Alright. Alright. I didn't expect. Yeah, huh? So if we could just select those and scale them, scale them in along with mm, scale them in, 
Then we just select those ones, extrude them out to make the nose now, I mean. And this, what I'm doing, I extrude, cancel, and then scale them up. And you grab some faces, and let's even change the view mode. Let's reposition. Every line has a reason to be there, so it's very easy to morph your character into one another. You can totally reutilize your rig after it's rigged and easily make one character become a lot of characters lots many other characters mm. all right I'll apply the subsurface modifier just to show you that it's yielding a very cool topology rather decent topology rather decent topology mm. oh, I didn't the eyes I'm so excited that I forgot the eyes And like I said, it's like we did in the lips. There are some cool moves for the eyes, which will be... Mm, they will change this and scale them. And if I apply the subsurface modifier, you can see that we got a really cool topology. I mean, if you have studied topology and you have watched a lot, I mean, if you don't like this region, you can go back here and delete this one, but then you're going to leave. It's a matter of choice. What I want to show you is that. Um, I mean, before we apply, let's extrude these lips inwards because it gets cool. Cooler. What I want to show you is that the smile lines insert above the nostril and not under it, like it's a common mistake. And you can actually you can be at this level of subdivision and transform it into a total different care but it's up to you I'm not going to do this now what I want to do is show you how quick it is to rig this model so I'll in another tutorial I'll show you how to weight paint this is very it's just as quick as hooking to a new object because we have a simple trick <clears throat> but let me rig with simple hooks and I'll show you how easy it, it can be. Mm, the eyelids. I'll show you in a while the eyelids. Mm, this one. The mouth is very suitable for facial motion capture. This tutorial series will have a video on facial motion capture capture homemade you can watch already on my channel mm, the smile lines I forgot let me forget that one it will be cool um, 
Let's select some bunch of more and we're done. Look, we're done. I thought that this is a cool enough rig for facial motion capture. Oh, let's find. I actually have a cool script. I actually have a cool script for the empties not to be like this and I mean to resize the empties don't pay attention to what I'm talking to mm. oh I can see what the heck sorry about that mm -hmm. it's a damn good rig and it was achieved very quickly let me put this in terms of smooth shade. <laughs> it's a cool character made in what, 10 minutes if you train I definitely assure you that you can do this in 5 minutes if you train a lot let's give him some nicer face tricks alright and rig this face also and you see <laughs> and the eyelids let me find where the where they will orbit at Let's see. Rx. <laughs> cool eyelids. Uh, the orbit Rx. Well, it's a very animation friendly topology. Let's flat shade it and unsubdivide it a little bit so you can see. It's a very cool topology. I can't apply the subserve because the hook modifiers are very um, temperamental. <laughs> I don't know if this exists, this word. But that's just it. No, that's not just it. I forgot something. No, that's it. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to my channels and give me a like on my Facebook page. I just forgot something that this tutorial series will cover a tip, a, the version of this mesh, but for the whole body, this quick modeling techniques for the whole body and for animals and we, wings. Um, herbivores, carnivores, and see ya!